Welcome to iLecture Online. In this video, we're going to explore how to find the current, the line currents, when we have multiple loads on the three-phase system. So here we're going to use the same loads. Notice that we have a 30 kilowatt load and a 45 kVar load. Of course, when we talk about kilowatts, we're talking about the real power. And when we talk about kVar, we talk about the reactive power. And so we have to adjust for that when we write down their actual complex power equations. We have the real part and we have the reactionary part of that. Of course, we can also then put it in magnitude and phase angle format. And as we saw in the previous video, all we have to do when we want to find the total power, we simply add the two algebraically. And so that is how we find the total power when we have multiple loads on a single three-phase system. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try to find the currents the line current and we're going to start with simply the the line the current on line A and so we're going to use the very the same equation we've seen before that we have the complex power is equal to the square root of 3 times the product of the voltage and the current on the line the line voltage and the line current and then we can solve that for the line current and there's the equation we're going to use to find the current now in this case, we're going to assume that the line voltage is 240,000 volts with a, zero phase, with a zero phase angle. And then we're going to use the current, or we're going to find the current by plugging that into the equation. So on the first case, we have the power of the, of the, the complex power of the first load. So we get 50,000 uh, 50, VA at a 53 degree phase angle and the square root of 3 times V1. And what I wanted to mention, I was just thinking about it, that this equation is the same regardless if you have a delta load or Y load. It makes no difference. You always get this very same equation as we have shown you in previous videos. So when we then calculate the current, Notice the magnitude and the phase angle, and then that gets converted into the real and imaginary part of the current. We do the same for the second current, for the second load. And so then we have S2, which is a 75,000, uh, that would be total magnitude, which is V or 75,000 VA with a phase angle of 36. And again, the, the voltage, the line voltage, and we have the term, the square root of 3. So now we have our two currents associated with the two loads on the three-phase system. How to find the total current? Simple again, we simply do an algebraic sum of the two currents to get the total current. There's another way in which we could have gotten the current. We can simply calculate the complex conjugate of the line current A, which is the total power, the total complex power, divided by the square root of 3 times the uh, line voltage. So when we take the total power, which uh, is right here, there's the total power, 123,800 VA, volt ampere, with the phase angle of 43, divided by the square root of 3 times the line voltage, and we get the complex conjugate of the current. Now we have to be careful here, because to find the current, we have to take the complex conjugate of the complex conjugate to get the actual phase angle, which is a negative phase angle, which means the current is lagging the voltage. And so this is another way in which we could have gotten the total current due to multiple loads. So either we calculate the current one by one and add them, or we use the equation for the total, the total power to get the total current, that would be the complex conjugate, then we have to change the phase angle, so be careful of one thing. The reason why we can do it either way is because the power is also the algebraic sum. Since the power is the algebraic sum, we can use the total power to find the current. One, one thing to be careful of, that negative phase angle, because you have to convert from the complex conjugate to the regular current. And that is how it's done. 